Hi guys, today in this episode we will continue the installation of this uh, Hydrovise uh, system from Hunter. In my case with the ACC 800 plastic uh, uh, controller with the wireless wave link option installed. And in this video you will see how to install the double output model. So if you want to install only the single output uh, model, you just have to do everything the same minus uh, one very little change you will see it. So to do the programming, you need uh, two applications. So one is the Hydrovise itself, which is managing your irrigation. Another one is this uh, Hunter wireless wave link. So this is how you have to search uh, in an app store. And then you have to connect your phone, okay? to the wireless uh, wave link uh, module. Uh, the next what you have to do is drop in one battery. So this is how the user manual is telling how you should install the, the battery. So first you drop the battery here, make sure you have enough uh, space here to press this button, okay? You also can install uh, the, the second one, no problem, but the manual is saying it's, uh, you just have to install one, I don't know why, because they're saying it's much more easier to reach this button if this battery is not here, but I find out it's like nothing. So then you hold your uh, finger on this button, so make sure this is not lighting up, okay, only this one. And then you can come here to the application, to the third option, which is about all the walls and do uh, scanning. And if everything is okay, so here you can choose the number of your zone and I already prepared my one. And you also should write uh, the, the, the zone number on the um, uh, compartment lid. Make sure in the future you will not get uh, <laughs> confused. So in my case, this is the 17 and the 18. So first is the 17, correct. And the second one will be the 18 and then you just press done and then you save it okay very important to save it and then you just secure the lid okay make sure it's uh, completely closed and if you have more uh, receivers better if you're doing the pairing now when you are really near to your uh, controller in my case i have a lot so take your time and do it all of them in one shot one other tip about the, the numbering you see this uh, station number here okay so this is the zone number or station number. Very important, if, if you wanna install additional normal uh, traditional uh, um, AC 24 volt output, um, install before your wireless output module, it's very simple to understand why. So this one is a fixed amount, okay? So here, uh, for, in my case, I can install here eight uh, output. But the wireless output module is, is not a fixed number, so you can add, I don't know, 4 or 5 or 6 or 20 or 29, whatever. What can happen? Let's say this one you install after the wireless output module and, and you start the numbering with one on your wireless output module. And then let's say you install 10 receiver and then you add the additional eight uh, normal AC output. After that, <laughs> Uh, your next station number will be not in, in a series with all of your uh, radio uh, controlled uh, wireless uh, wave link uh, station number. And in the future you can get uh, really confused. So in my case, this is a really simple uh, installation. So I need only eight uh, normal uh, 24 volt AC output and all the rest will be a wireless output module. Eh? Be careful. Ah, I forgot to mention, you can do this uh, Bluetooth wireless LoRa pairing only really uh, near to your controller because the communication between the app and the uh, wireless wave link uh, transmitter, it's happening only in Bluetooth. So you have, uh, let's say, uh, three or four meter uh, distance 
uh, to, to work on it. So what you need for this installation, if you had a, a previous system with uh, 24 volt uh, normal AC uh, solenoids, you have to replace your solenoids to DC latching solenoid. Okay, very, very important because this uh, uh, transmitter receiver can uh, operate only with latching relays. Why? Because uh, the normal 24 volt uh, uh, solenoids, they need continuous power, but you cannot do with the battery operated uh, system. Yeah, it's, it's uh, super clear. So you have to replace your solenoids. In my case, I have a Hunter system everywhere. So um, uh, this is my uh, model, but you have to ask your uh, provider what is uh, good for your uh, irrigation walls. Then you have to find something like this. So what is this actually? This is a very smart system to connect your cables in a box, okay, uh, and, and it's sealing your uh, connection and your cable with, uh, with the silicon uh, grease. Let me show you, okay? So the silicon grease is leaving uh, down there. I'm sure there is hundreds of different uh, solutions on the market. This is done by the, I find this one uh, at the, the shop of my supplier. This is made by 3M or something really uh, high quality stuff with a lot, a lot, a lot of uh, silicone. So why it's, it's important? Because this is a battery operated DC system, okay? And a low voltage, so it's only producing 10 volt or 9 volt. I don't know on output, maybe 11. Yeah, it's, it's, it's rotted somewhere here. So the output is only 11 volt DC. So what does this mean? Any wrong corrosion or not good connection or uh, water can go back in a cable, okay, even to here, yeah. So then it will not uh, work. Then you need a driller, okay, with this drill bit, what the hunter gives you with the wireless uh, valve link uh, radio transmitter. Okay, it's in, inside in a box. A piece of um, hard cable or piece of plastic or something, it's around one sixteenth of inch or let's say uh, five millimeter, something like this. You will see later on why you need. And of course you need a cat, yeah? Okay, so now we are here at the installation point and it's basically a very good example because the guys finished only the installation of the, the piping, okay, and uh, the, the valves. So we already have a, a water pressure in all the system. So what you have to do first, you have to install your uh, uh, solenoids. It's very simple, job. you just take your solenoid Okay, and just make sure you add a little bit of uh, silicone on this uh, o-ring. It's much more easier to, to thread in and make sure there is no uh, dust or runny dirt or something from the factory even. Sometimes you can find inside uh, small uh, plastic parts. You don't need to apply so much force, okay? It's just, just with hand, okay? And so when you cannot turn it anymore, it's done, it's installed. So let me repeat. Okay, so now both of the solenoid are installed and now is the time to drill a hole into the lead. So when you choose uh, where, where to drill uh, the hole, okay, make sure you have enough space for the transmitter because the bottom part is a little bit uh, bulky, yeah, and it's dependent on, on the thickness of your lead. So it can be, you know, it can uh, collide with your walls or something or maybe with your tab. So in my case, we will drop the lead uh, on the walls like this, okay? So the hole is here. So I have to drill uh, somewhere, somewhere here. So just turn my lid and make sure you're not drilling uh, from the top side, okay? You always drilling from the bottom side uh, because of this um, uh, enforcement. So uh, let me pick my drill. So I will drill my wire somewhere here, okay? Okay, so now we have the hole uh, prepared. So uh, what you have to do first, you have to remove uh, this top part, yeah? And you insert your beautiful new wireless uh, irrigation system through the hole, okay? And then you drop this mushroom on it. Yeah, it's just, you just need uh, to hand tie it. Don't go crazy. And then 
you hold the mushroom here, you adjust the direction, yeah? And then you just drive the plastic nut to the lid and just uh, tie it up uh, securely, okay? That's it, it's installed and everybody can read Hunter, yeah? So now the lid is prepared. Okay, so then the next step is of course uh, to connect your uh, solenoids to the receiver because now we are installing a double output module okay uh, this one has uh, three wires so we have um, we have uh, the common which is the black okay and we have the the first one and uh, the second uh, port okay this is important so you always start with the with the common cable yeah so in this case if you have uh, multiple walls in a box you have to connect the blacks common yeah together so this is a very important first step so you take in this case i have two solenoids so in total we will see uh, three cable yeah so make sure everything and everybody is parallel nicely then you start to, uh, to twist in clockwise direction very very important you will see why because now we have to drop on it this uh, thingy yeah which is going clockwise yeah to tie it up and in all systems uh, that is what people did only okay <laughs> and that's why they had a lot of problem with the connection so again if you have only one wav of course you just have to connect two wire not three and if you have four wav then of course you have to see here five uh, black cable okay so now here is when this uh, puppy is uh, coming to the picture so this is the the bottle or i don't know how it's called uh, something <laughs> which is full with the silicone grease and that's why you need this thingy okay which is uh, just a piece of uh, plastic or piece of wire so then you insert uh, your connection gripper into this silicone grease and believe me you cannot push it forward because uh, the cables are flexible so that's why you need this uh, stick so you stick your stick <laughs> into this hole and you push it down completely maybe you can see what's happening now so now let me show you on the side so you push it down like a syringe yeah and all the, the greasy stuff came out here don't worry you just have to make sure this silicone grease is everywhere and it's sealing your uh, connection and your cable okay you will say thank you in the future for yourself because in this way in the future you can remove this cable okay you can fill up again this uh, uh, syringe with um, new silicone grease and you will always have a nice and uh, solid uh, connection so what you have to do now make sure it depends on the type of of this uh, i don't know what's the name of this really so in my type three i easily can pass it here on the front so i pass it and then just uh, close it with a click a solid click yeah and that's it so the connection is super secured and it's watertight and it's ip68 rated or something even more yeah so we have to repeat this one with the red so this is the first output of the wireless output module yeah you can find the, the number here yeah you see uh, there is the number so this is the first one and this is the second one so now we are dealing with the with the first one so again twist them clockwise i don't know what's the name of this uh thingy <laughs> mm, a cup twister cup yeah it's something like this you know twister cup okay make sure it's secured and then now the and i find out is the the best way if you push it down only until let's say to the middle to make sure in the future you still have a lot okay the user manual is saying you have to push it down completely to the bottom i don't think so it's necessarily uh, because it has enough uh, silicone grease inside so i think uh, we are okay with this 
yeah, it has a plenty. Eh? So, so now all the connection is done, and you can understand. You no, know, this situation is not the final situation. The final situation must be something like this. Yeah, over there you can see. So the box is nicely in the ground, and you just have the lead on it. Now is the time to go to the irrigation software, which is the um, hydrolyzer. Yeah, what I have to do is very simply come here and start the irrigation. Okay. So then we have to listen if there is a click and if your system is already connected to the water of course you will see uh, your irrigation is running so in my case <laughs> it's closed so then uh, just start and listen and you have to select the desired uh, uh, time in my case this is 10 minutes already programmed then just press the start and let's hear it click yeah, it produced the beautiful uh, click. So now let me close it and it will produce the other click. So what we can do now, we can go back uh, to the irrigation controller. I will show you why. So now in, in the wireless uh, wall link uh, software, application on your phone you have to press the details yeah and then the system will show you all of your wireless receiver the status so why because this is the only way where you can check the the signal strength to your receiver so in my case this is a really far away like 200 meters from the controller and you can see it's already on 65% of the signal and the battery is of course is full. So in this uh, application you can see all of your uh, wireless uh, um, receiver. Almost all of my uh, receivers are 100%. Uh, only the last one which is 200 meters away down. Yeah and the exactly the, the house is between the um, control and between the receiver. So if you see here, let's say 50% or less than 40%, then of course you have to install the antenna extension. Okay, make sure all of your radio receiver, so all of these guys, we see a really nice and uh, strong uh, signal. At the moment, I'm not sure, but of course, uh, in the next episode, we will install the, the radio expansion. And basically, that's all we finished with the installation. So, so this is what you have to repeat with each of your uh, uh, wireless Wolve link uh, receiver. I hope you guys enjoyed. See you next time. Bye. This is how you should look uh, like after, okay? So no cables outside and make sure your cat is not in the box uh, somewhere, somewhere else.